Hello dear traders, we are glad to welcome you Insta Forex TV channel. You are watching the weekly link up with me, Tahmina Salomova. In this edition, we are going to discuss the ongoing situation in the Forex market. Besides, technical analyst Petar Ikimovic will help us forecast further dynamics of popular trading instruments. Hi Petar, market participants are closely monitoring the most popular currency pay, Euro versus American dollar pair. Meanwhile, the single European currency is trying to resist the strong US dollar. From your viewpoint, what should traders expect on this pay in the short term? Hello, dear traders. I'm expecting a potential recovery on the USD, uh, at least in the next uh, few days. Uh, the price met my downward target as like I uh, expected in my previous uh, TV link up. So the price to my target is met at 1.0545. This is a Fibonacci expansion, 100 percentage. And this is a very strong support. Also, I didn't, um, uh, I cannot see that price actually going and uh, have some real power to break through. And uh, there is a big potential risk for the further downside. Even the trend is still downward. The selling at this point looks uh, like a risky, um, business. So, in my opinion, watch potential buying opportunities with the controlled risk and, uh, for example, some upward target can be near the 1.0655 or even 1.0850. The area of 1.0655 is the area where we saw the previous swing low, which can act like resistance. So, again, because we the USD uh, sit on a uh, strong Fibonacci expansion 100%, I see the lack of a sellers there, there is a big risk for the further downside. Even though there is a still downward trend on the place, we may expect some recovery on the USD. Anyway, the price break the 1.0545, the USD can drop even 200 pips lower. So the breakout of 1.0545 will confirm for the downward side. So in that scenario, watch for a selling opportunities. But if this Fibonacci expansion 100 percentage uh, hold, then you can watch for some potential buying opportunities. The pound sterling is also showing resilience to the US dollar bouncing back from earlier weakness. Could you shed light on the pound dollar pair? I'm expecting a higher price on the British pound USD. Um, the British pound USD is still acting in, the, in the, some training range in the past days. and. Um, but anyway, I saw according to the daily time frame the bullish engulfing counter out of one uh, of the let's say support, which was the previous swing high. Now became uh, the resistance became support, and the level of 1.2325 uh, acted like a solid support, and the bullish engulfing pattern came from this support. So this is a good sign. Also, price is trading above 21 simple moving average, and uh, we are approaching the 50 simple moving average. So this will be the critical for the British pound. Anyway, I see the risk of the downward side. So in my opinion, it's a good thing to watch for buying opportunities. This bullish golf confirmed the, uh, the strength and the willing of the buyers to push this higher. The first upward target is set with the price of, uh, uh, let's say, uh, 1.2670 uh, or it can be like uh, also 1.2800, uh, which is the Fibonacci expansion 100 percentage from the most recent swing. So Watch for buying opportunities on the dips with the first target 1.2670. The US dollar also tightened its grip on the Japanese yen, so the dollar yen pay is going up steadily. Do you think it makes sense to open long positions on the dollar yen pair? Mm, according to my view, um, the US Japanese yen met all my upward targets. And um, from previous uh, my previous forecast on the US Japanese yen was the price actually go and visit that 11290 area 113 and the price is basically uh, trading at this uh, at this stage right now and uh, i will not advise you watch for buying this even the momentum and uh, let's say the trend is a bullish um the strong resistance the Fibonacci expansion 161 point in percentage and there is a, some cluster of resistance uh are near the 114.50 uh, so my advice is to be very careful with buying because I see that potential buying is limited at this point. And we may see potential retracement on this currency pair, at least to the area, for example, 110.50, which is an area where I found that demand basically came in from um, 
in from the background. So again, upward trend is in the place, but seems like the price is near the strong resistance. It seems like we may see some uh, consolidation, some retracement at least, before we may continue possible upward moment. Anyway, I'm not advised to watch for buying movements at this stage. It's um, uh, a very extended upward movement. We see that in Fibonacci ratios. So to buy near the 161.8 daily Fibonacci expansion is a very um, risky. And my advice to watch for a potential selling opportunities with a target 110.50. At present, December Fed's monetary policy meeting is dominating speculations across the board. Besides, traders are also counting their days until the OPEC summit aimed at finalizing. A production could deal. Indeed, its outcome will determine further dynamic of commodity currencies. Could you please present your forecast for the Australian versus American dollar pair? I'm expecting a lower price in Australian dollar US dollar. As like I forecasted uh, uh, previous week, um, we saw the breakout of the upward trend line. The price actually uh, went uh, lower below the 200 simple average, and we are pretty much below all significant moving averages, which is like 100, 250, uh, or even 10. So we are below, we're trading below all of this. So strong selling pressure. Again, uh, the area of uh, 0.700. Uh, is like a, acting like a strong resistance and uh, we may see the lower price basically and my advice to watch for selling opportunities the take profit levels are set at 0 0.7 uh, 145 and 0 0.7 um, 0 0.85 which is the Fibonacci expansion 100 percentage so strong downward side pressure um, uh, still, demand is weak, and we got a lot of uh, weaknesses in the background, broken upward trend line, uh, which are below the moving averages. And my advice, absolutely, watch for selling opportunities on the pullbacks. Thank you, Petra, for your trade and recommendations. See you next week. You watch the weekly link up presented by me, Tahmina Salomova, and InstaForex technical expert Petra Ikimovich. Don't miss our next edition.